Welcome to the MVP3 TV show, The Making of an Empire. Here you get to watch us build this entertainment powerhouse brick by brick. It's been a long road since I started building an entertainment powerhouse. Back in 2005, I started managing the Mulch Brothers. From there, I worked with film producers, some good, some bad, learning the industry mainly to get the Mulch Brothers music into films. While on that road, I got derailed by someone who was supposed to be my mentor, who took my contacts and tried to create a whole new company, while keeping me distracted as my company almost went under. During that same time, I worked with an agent who, instead of helping me with my company, his other intentions were to get me into bed. When I told him I was based on truth and integrity, he said so was he. He was telling me the truth. Funny, but not really. I had to get up from being knocked down many times, standing my ground to build my career and my company the right way on solid foundation. A highlight came when I started working with Billy Falcon while he opened up for Bon Jovi. I believe it was back in 2006 I became an investor in Savannah Music Group in Nashville and I started working with my pal Jeff Cohen who is one of the owners of Savannah and owner of Voyage Air Guitar. Speaking of Nashville, here's some recent clips of me stomping ground in the Music City. I'm here with my dear friend, the amazing, talented Tony Buster. You might recognize Tony from the music video that I produced, Ike and Tina, by Mac Rod. You got it going on, baby girl, in the bed, in the bed. But Tony, why are we here today? Well, we are here today, actually, to um, celebrate actors and models and singers and dancers who want to get into the entertainment business, basically. This, we've created a realm for these kids to be able to enter in this business in the right way. Um, we direct them as to exactly who they have to talk to, who they need to meet, what agents are legit. Um, we train them before they come here to meet these agents. We work with them and we prep them up until this event. And this is called the MCI event. Um, it happens every year. And this is our 10th year doing it. So we're really proud of it. And um, all these kids basically come here to meet their agents and to get involved. And we're all about the South. We want to open up this, um, this market to a it, it, we want to expand it. And basically, that's what uh, Marie and I have been speaking about. It's something that's really near and dear to my heart, and as well as Marie's. So that's why we're here. So coming together to make huge things that happen. Thank you, Tony. I love her. <laughs> She's the best. Hi, I'm sitting here with my new dear friends, Lenny and David. And I'm going to let Lenny and David explain what they do. But we are joining forces to do some major things here in Nashville, Memphis, and globally. So, Lenny, why don't you begin and tell them what you do and what you got. I'm the manager of the hot new boy band, Contagious. It's multicultural, multiracial, four different personalities, and uh, over the last eight and a half months, we built this thing from the ground up, and today we're here to uh, work with Marie and take our plans and her plans all over the world. This is David. Hi. I'm <laughs> we got to hear your accent. Yeah. Yes. Okay. I uh, love it. <laughs> Thank you. I'm David Landau. I'm the president of Bright Recordings. And these boys have our friends. They've gelled together. They work together. They sing wonderfully. And they're dancers and can choreograph their own dances. They, as I say, they are immense talents. We're gonna take things global. There you go. Thank you. Thank you. I'm Jim Labriola. I used to play Benny on the TV show Home of Roommate. You're a real man. You can eat whatever you want. It's like they say, fat builds muscle. You were on that show? No. I used to drive Tim around. But, uh, <laughs> and you what? This is my future ex wife, by the way. <laughs> we're going over the paperwork with our lawyers. But what's the name of the show? The show? Yeah. The MVP 3 Making of an Empire. I love that show. Yeah. <laughs> I love this. I watch it all the time. You know, I live here. Yeah. I live in Nashville. I just want everybody to know. I live here, it's wonderful. All my neighbors think I'm in a witness protection program. So why did you move here? Uh, actually, I, for a career move. Okay. So. Everybody. <laughs> so, 
this is where you're going to die. You come here, you go to Hollywood, then you, you come here and die. Well, Johnny Depp is like me. Who? Johnny Depp. Refresh my memory. <laughs> That's for me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I love this guy. I love this girl. Look at this woman. Look at this woman. Let me tell you something. Look at this. All kidding aside, I've done interviews before. This is a beautiful woman. God bless your parents. And when they had you, they did everything right that day. <laughs> that night. Filet mignon, dinner, champagne. See this? Argument. No argument. Okay. Well, he's here in Nashville, but we are actually going to bring him to Memphis to do a show. That's my plan. Yes. Uh, I'm loving living here. I gotta tell you, walking aside, I've, I've lived in LA and a few places in Florida, and uh, but living here in Nashville, I find this is the nicest people I've ever been. Anywhere out in my travels, living in Nashville is like just nicest people and multi-talented. Just a lot of talented people. Let me tell you that. But what's funny about living here is, as you can tell, I fit right in. You know. My neighbors all think I'm in a witness protection program. Nobody bothers me. Nobody walks their dog in my lawn. You know, no, don't bother that guy. I sit down in the front once a week with a shovel. Yeah, how you doing? Oh, what do I do? I'm a farmer. Yeah, bury things. How you doing? Since you're in Nashville, now we got to get you to Memphis. And, uh, I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. I, I'm Memphis, and I have a concern. For some reason, I've never gotten to go there, and I want to see if we're there. Can you get me out there? You got to take me I'll to I'll show you my Memphis. I, I want to see, though, Elvis's. Yes, you got to take me to the mansion. Yes. That's like a big deal for me. Okay. All right, because my two favorite guys are Elvis and Sinatra. Done deal. Promise? Promise. Things are definitely looking up. Our documentary Momo, the Sam Giacana story, recently won awards for Best Documentary at the Hollywood Reel and Bel Air Film Fest. I've been working on building my film company with a slate of documentaries, film, and television projects. Here's some footage of our new project, a documentary called History, Heritage, and Legends. I believe that all of us should be proud of our heritage and you can't be proud of it if you don't know about it. I believe that God has brought us together to love everyone. It has a picture of Dr. Martin Luther King, Reverend Green is in the middle, and uh, President Obama is on the other side, and is in the right and it said, presented to Bishop Al Green for being a part of black history in America. It's definitely not an easy road, but building it on truth and integrity and with the right people, Putting on my stilettos and moving forward, determined and passionate, we are succeeding. You could read more about my journey when my book, From Barefoot to Stilettos, It's Not for Sissies, comes out this summer, 2013. I now have a great team of attorneys, advisors, and knowledgeable, well-known people in the entertainment industry that are joining forces with MVP3. We are building a successful entertainment powerhouse. This is just the tip of the iceberg. Thanks for watching The Making of an Empire. Until next time, check out this video.